It's Friday, September 22nd, 2023, and it's time for another episode of The Rodriguez Show. The Rodriguez Show. My name is Cesar Rodriguez, keeping it funky, keeping it fresh, and keeping it sexy since the year 1992. Yeah! Hey. And I am not alone in the studio. He's the DJ of the show, my podcast partner, ready with a new mix for you today. His name is Mondo. Yo, what's good? What's good? Hey. Uh, Happy Friday, y'all. Another Friday here. We're hanging out in the studio. Uh, first, I want to get into uh, something that happened this month, uh, years ago. Uh, so Jay Z, he dropped his album, The Blueprint, yeah. the first one, Volume One. Yeah, he dropped it in two thousand one, September eleventh. Very unfortunate uh, day for that to drop, considering everything that happened that day. Yeah, but he was leading up to that release before that that summer at Summer Jam, and so two thousand one. Well, because the reason I'm doing this, I'm just going to get into like a hip hop history thing, um, which is really funny. Uh, the first time that he did a song called The Takeover, which was a diss track in uh, ever, he ever performed it, uh, was at Summer Jam 2001. Yeah. And Summer Jam 2001, obviously, people didn't have cell phones back then like that. Mm-hmm. So people thought the footage was lost. Like, no, but people were on the internet, but it wasn't like you lived your life on the internet. Right. You know, people knew. It was new. Internet was still new. Yeah, so people got to experience like songs like this live for the first time, like rarely. Like shit like this happened and you had to be there or else like you had to be told about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Jay Z, uh, he was headlining Summer Jam and uh he decided to do premiere his diss track against Mob Deep. Oh. And so people had never had been there and they're like, Oh yeah, it's dope and there's a video that came out of it recently on YouTube. Like it had been discovered. Oh damn. Yeah, so it's cool to see the people react to like the lines of him like revealing shit and people going oh like everybody in the in yeah, the, yeah 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 the, li- the live reaction the literal <laughs> the literal live reaction not the ones they do in front of the phones you know what I'm saying but yeah exactly yeah. it's like, like, back, like that was like that was a live reaction back in the day you know yeah and I was just thinking about how special it is that people got to experience that live like yeah. it wasn't you know because there was no internet like that. right so yeah it was cool there was a moment where in the Mob Deep song he mentions how one of them was a ballerina. When uh, when he was a little kid, oh. and then he shows a picture of the of the kid as a ballerina. That's wild. One of the guys from Mob Deep. That's freaking crazy. And so everybody goes crazy for it. Like, that's um, nuts. yeah. And then and then to top it all off, you brought up Michael Jackson during Damn. Um, Summer Jam. Yeah, that's like that's like that's epic, bro. That's history for sure. Yeah, and you hear like the crowd like l- at a certain loudness level mm-hmm. when he's performing, but then when Michael Jackson comes out, it's like it insane. goes even crazy. <laughs> yeah, I bet, dude. And you don't really think like, oh, like, because, you know, Michael Jackson was at a certain time, Jay-Z's of a certain time, like, right. them being together in the same place is crazy. Yeah, exactly. I mean, think about it. Like, people are like, they're there to see, they're there to see Jay-Z, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Well, at, at the time, let's say Jay-Z was like, he was like a popular rapper of the time. Right. It wasn't like Jay-Z's a legend. Now. R- he, right. It was like watching like, I guess, Lil Baby or something like that. Yeah, and he was, Maybe, but yeah. he was on, he was on his way up. He was yeah. on his way up. Don't get me wrong. I mean. But then to bring out Michael Jackson, some people probably didn't even think it was Michael Jackson for real, you know? Yeah. Yeah, so it's dope. And so that got me thinking about, like, if you could go back in time or if you could, you know, even go back in time recently and be like, you should have bought a ticket to this. Like, is there a concert or, like, a moment in music history where you're like, damn, I wish I would have been there? Uh, Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely, dude. Yeah. I mean, shit. Uh, oh, Let's see. Well, I'll tell you, Mike, if you want to think yeah, about it. Go ahead, I'll tell you. Go ahead. So I, I wrote in some like, that I would think, like, uh, seeing Nirvana live would have been good. Oh, definitely. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely, I mean, from all the pictures you see, I mean, vid- like, again, like, footage that you see from back in the day, that would be definitely, like, good times. Even if it was more of the intimate venues they did, you know? Mm-hmm. It's like, those those are history, dude. Like, to be part of that, you know, you never know. You could have been in the picture or something. Yeah. You know? Shit, I, I thought of one. Okay. DMX Woodstock 99. Oh, hell yeah. Dude, that, that I mean, I I think I'd be, no, nah, I don't think I would be like all claustrophobic at the time, but you know, no, like. people died there, so you would have been I scared. Mean, <laughs> I would have been, but I mean. DMX RIP to those people, you know, but like, I, I you know, I would have been there. I'm be like, yo, I live yeah. to tell, you know, tell the story. Like, yo, I was there. I was there. Another one, too, would be the Up in Smoke tour. Mm-hmm. Uh, Dr. Dre, Eminem, Eminem Snoop Exhibit, Dog. Snoop Dogg, <laughs> bro, everybody. They had every Nate Dogg was in there, dude. Yeah, that would have been a legendary one to go to. And those are unfortunate because we were alive during that time, but it's not like we had like the means or like yeah. even thought to be like, oh, I'm 12 years old, I'm gonna go. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> See, like you wouldn't at yeah. the time. And the end of the time, what was it called? The Arrowhead Pond, right? Yeah, they, they had they stopped. They had a tour stop right here Damn. in Anaheim. Imagine that, you know. <laughs> 
Imagine like the people that got to go, like, yo, let's go this weekend. Like, yeah. I got some tickets. And back in the day, the tickets weren't even that expensive. Bro. Yeah, probably like fifty bucks or maybe even less. But... That's crazy. Uh, I see. I, I would. I wrote down see Beastie Boys live. That would have been sick. That would have been sick. Too. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, yeah, the one that I regret is that because it happened in my lifetime was Beyonce Coachella. Oh yeah, yeah. that that's a great one. <laughs> that's iconic too. Yeah, that was the year we, we that day we were doing our three year anniversary. I think it was three year. The one that we did at GCS. So that I think it was three. Oh years. yeah, yeah. So that the stack lineup, 2018. Yeah. The the super super stack lineup. Mm-hmm. The, the 25 act lineup. Yeah. The Coachella. Yeah, but I could have gone the first weekend because yeah. it was. <laughs> That's true. That's true. It's all good though. It's all good. Uh, At least there's good footage of it. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> um, Tyler Creator, the Igor tour. Yeah. I'm sad I missed that. Um, Tosh Gambino because the internet tour. That was another one mm-hmm. that was good. Um, I mean, I saw the Yeezus tour three times, but I would go back and do it. I, I would, yeah, that's something I would have loved to go see the Yeezus tour just or because watch the of the throne. The, watch the throne, just, just because of the stage setups, dude. Like, there's so many that you can really think of. It's just like your favorite artists, like especially when they were coming up before they were like popping, popping mm-hmm. as like just like as a Kendrick Lamar, like even like seeing one of his early, early shows and like just knowing that he was already kind of you know like he was gonna pop off. Yeah. Where be, where he became a lot of people's like favorite rapper, you know. True. Imagine yeah, that. See the evolution dude. of that. Yeah. Just in general, any any dope artist that you you see out there it could be hip hop, could be pop, could be rock. Mm-hmm. You know, it's yeah, crazy. There's a lot of moments in time like that. Um, it's cool that we're just discuss- like even like moments that we missed out. Like who knows? Maybe one day they'll find footage like actual real. Like well, I guess there is of Daft Punk at Coachella. Oh oh yeah 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 yeah. No the yeah was it was that the one? Uh, no, they were performing in France. There, there you go. One, the that, one that one. I wish I would have been there, bro. Yeah, yeah. But it's it's like it's just nice because like it happened when you were alive. But you, it's not like a twelve year old. I didn't know about that punk. To yeah. or, I'm gonna go to Coachella. I don't know about that punk at five yeah. years old. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I guess the lesson to be learned is like take advantage of these moments. Like when you see something like that. Like when I when Frank Ocean went on his first tour for Channel Orange, I was mm. like, he'll be around. Yeah. <laughs> and now, no. nope. Uh, so never yeah stuff again. like that you never know when that's gonna happen so take advantage when you can to do that i was thinking and the last one the last one i was thinking about was the one that i actually went to was the drake kanye thing the kanye featuring drake at the in la in 2001 oh 2021, 2021. the um free larry hoover free Lear, yeah there we go like i was thinking about that and how like that was probably the kanye's like i mean if he does another one but it's his last great performance yeah. and the first one in a long time like years before that he hadn't done something like that since 2018 Crazy. And now it's been two years and still, I mean, he's not close to doing anything like that. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so well, let's strive to create those moments, even with our friends that are artists. I'm sure they'll have their moments where we'll be there to support them. Exactly, man. I mean, that exa- that's what I'm saying. It's just like, you know, you, you find people and, and not just like us knowing our, our like our homies and everything that, that make music and that have been on the show and everything. And it's like we're we are capturing these moments where it's like, you know, they're gonna get fans and people are like finding out about them and then it's like dude if they go to like bigger heights it's gonna be like holy shit were you there <laughs> you know were you there at those early shows and it's like some people weren't you and know? be gatekeeping like i knew eric young before you guys <laughs> i knew him personally yeah <laughs> you know it's crazy it, it's like a uh, shout out to frosty dude she had just had the show at the whiskey Gogo, and it's yeah. like an old school venue you know where a lot of like historic. legends yeah it's this historic venue where legends perform and look here now Young yeah. legend right there, dude. <laughs> All the homies. Uh, so shout out to that. Uh, if you have any, send us our way. Hit us up at The Rodriguez Show on Instagram. Let us know what your moment you would have gone back in time to watch. Definitely. Uh, but let's get into the first mix. Mon, are you ready for this? Yes, sir. Let's start this weekend. Let's do it. And that was Mondo's first mix the on Rodriguez The Rodriguez Show. Show. Yes, sir. Uh, it's been a week that we took last week off in terms of like doing the headlines of the show. So we're going to catch you up. This is The Headlines. Yeah. Uh, so first, uh, within the last couple of weeks, Drake announced the release date of For the Dogs, mm. September 22nd, today, but then it got pushed back to October 6th. What did I tell you? <laughs> Next thing you know, it's going to be summer. Yeah, summer, summer. Be like summer 2024. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he dropped a single. Maybe that's this is, this is why he pushed it back. He dropped a single with SZA called Slam You Out. Oh, yeah. The single, pretty mid, uh, I have to say. <laughs> Carla yeah. and I did a reaction video to it. Um it's like supposed to tell a story, but at the end, it's just a lot of toxicity. Yeah. And I think maybe that's what it, maybe you can't relate to it because of that too, right? I guess so. I mean, 
Yeah, for all you talks people out there. Um, <laughs> if you guys can really, yeah, I don't know. I listened to it and I was just like, all right. I gave it like two, three listens and I was like, I don't know. You yeah. know, that's just, that's just me. That's just my opinion. I feel so, like they could have made a song that could have blew up the radio. Like that song's not going to blow up the radio. Right. <laughs> I mean, they're going to be spinning it for sure. But yeah, it's just like they could have gone, not to say just harder, but they could have come up with like a more upbeat, I would say. If they came out with like a more upbeat type of track, I think it would have been cool. Yeah. Maybe yeah. like I don't I know Drake's not in this point in his career, but like a one dance style song yeah. with SZA on there, that would have been crazy. That would have been crazy, yeah, exactly. But you know, I, I don't know if they're doing it with the season. They're over here like winding things down. They're mm-hmm. not trying to do a turn up song. But it's I hope he has turn up songs on his album. I hope so too. Uh so Slime You Out, that was the single of it. Uh the cover is Halle Berry getting slammed at the Kids Choice Award. Yeah. Super and, like H D. Yeah. <laughs> super H D freaking picture crazy but she didn't give permission to use it but it's not her permission to give he just paid the people that own the Im- that, image the image but she was like he asked me and i said no and he still did it that's messed up so what he paid nickelodeon or something no there's like a um, like a public images company called getty images oh so if, getty yeah mm-hmm. you know you see the logo everywhere yeah yeah they own it so he just he just paid for it oh damn that's crazy um the song itself the the lyrics are i should slime you out for your childish choices or something like that <laughs> That's why he put Halle Berry on it. Yeah, we're the kids. <laughs> did he? No. Uh, no, I don't think he did. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's the song. And uh, another big thing happening next week: In Sync is getting back together. Oh damn! I know. I told you a couple weeks ago they were getting back together for the Trolls movie. Yeah, yeah. But now they're like actually making music. Is People that are talking about a tour? Is that another like twenty year kind of recap thing? No. Twenty year reunion? Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's been right. They were popular in the early nineties, late nineties, so late nineties, two thousand one. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. I'm telling you, man. Yeah, they're dropping a new song next Friday, the 29th. So that's crazy. That's cool. I yeah. never would have thought Justin Timberlake would get to this point where he would like even try to get back together with NSYNC. Like even the guys from NSYNC themselves were like, "Yeah, this is never gonna happen." <laughs> and I bet you they're like, "Oh hell yeah." <laughs> Like well, Joey, Joey Fatone, I see him. He's like still on TV. He has like hot dogs. But the other guys, like, the, do you even know? I mean, um, what's his name? Um, one of the guys he's on. You know, they all have they all have their. They they could they did their own new things, right? Mm-hmm. They all went like on their own ventures and stuff. Yeah. That's cool. I mean, I don't know. After you know, Justin Timberlake was fighting with Megan Thee Stallion. I think he was like, <laughs> all right, all right, y'all, let's get back together. We need to win this award. Uh, so yeah that was funny because I was like it looked like she was yelling at him but she was like I'm just excited to see him <laughs> I'm so excited <laughs> to see you I'll fucking pissed <laughs> that's funny uh, also dropping October 6th Earl Sweatshirt and The Alchemist they're dropping what is it how do you pronounce it Mondo uh, Void Dyer I want to say it's Void Dyer uh, yeah that's or Void I know Void Dyer. I'm just going to void. <laughs> you were, void. You're pronouncing the song all, I, all The well. song, yeah, because I looked it up. I had to make sure, but Void Dyer. That's the name of the project. Yeah. Uh comes out next Friday, or October 6th. Don't come at me. Uh, we told you how it dropped on like a specific streaming site before, yeah. but now it's dropping wide with three new songs, one of them featuring Vince Staples, and that one's already out. Yes, yeah, sir. Um, so that's exciting. I can't wait to hear that, finally. And then something else that happened between the time that we recorded our headlines was that Diddy dropped a new album. Yeah. He announced it and dropped it. It's called Off the Grid, the Love Album. The Love. Album, yeah. Love. He's love. He is love. That's his name. He is love. He named his baby love as well. Crazy. That's kind of confusing. Love Junior. Love Junior. Love, <laughs> love, Junior. love Junior. Love oh. Junior. Oh, my bad. Love. <laughs> you didn't know it was a girl. It's yeah. fine. A <laughs> uh, ton of features on this. Um, Diddy, he performed his greatest hits at the VMAs. It was really fun. Nice. Um, you saw it, like even his, he did I'll Be Missing You. He did oh, wow. I Need a Girl. That's uh, fire. Because they gave him like an icon award. Yeah. It was him and Shakira. Shakira too. She did her classics. Oh, sick. Yeah. Check those out on YouTube if you can. I need to check them out. Yeah, I didn't see the VMAs. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. You don't need to watch it. Just, no. just watch on YouTube. Just, highlights. just, just you watch the whole VMAs. Yeah. Well, I feel like. I don't know, like, in the past couple of years, I haven't watched any of the VMAs, because yeah. they'll have, like, maybe, like, Megan Thee Stallion or somebody relevant that I like will perform. Yeah. But this one, I feel like, was geared towards, like, us, because there was a lot of early 2000s stuff mixed in with, with the new, with the the new, new stuff. stuff. Yeah. Uh, which makes sense right now. It's, like, that's what's cashing in the nostalgia of, yeah. of that time. Yeah. I dig it. Yeah. All right. The new music discovery. This is the TGIF. Yeah! Uh, 
So Nas also announced an album and dropped it, Magic 3. Magic 3, man. This is three for three. Mm-hmm. With Hit Boy, right? With Hit Boy. That's three albums that he's released. And uh, by all accounts, like his fans, they love it. Seems like there's some great songs on of there. Of course, right? yeah. Uh, again, like what I mentioned a couple weeks ago, there's just like them two together is just like a great duo. Like Hit Boy brought another, he just brought Nas's energy like back, but like to a whole new level because. He's on newer beats, on like boom bap beats, on like slower beats, on like, yeah, he went crazy, bro. Nice. Like Hit Boy really brought it out of him. So, yeah, it's really, really dope. Magic Three, man. So we're gonna highlight um, three of those songs from Magic Three yes, right now. This is the TGF on the Rodriguez Show. Always on time, I'm never petty. Yeah, I'm always ready. That's why my shit flows smooth and steady. Pictures on Getty. I don't complain. I don't blame. Know when my time is done. I move to the side. I don't want nothing to prove to these guys. If y'all was moving like Nas, y'all wouldn't assume someone owe you. Nobody know you when you owe. Except your peoples. That should keep you peaceful. Instead, delusional, moody losers refusing to see truth. Your personal hurt, you unleash on the first person you come across. Doing your evil work. Damn. It's a shame. Slug. If you don't have a team that's militant, you better be brilliant. I love this feeling. If you don't have no team that's militant, be mentally equipped. I love this feeling. Watch everybody. That's why I love my team. I love this feeling. Keep calm, but watch everything. It's your monthly subscription to the Slums Edition. The new it was written. Get your hard copies of Blockology coming from the one who lived in a bowl for goldfish. I never sell my soul, just evolve shock rap. That what you never been told. Shit. We ain't gonna never die. We ain't gonna never die. Icons of real time. Icons of real time. We ain't gonna never die. Uh. Icons, stepping on pythons, spitting at cayenne. You like Zion, peeking at the skyline, reaching for the stars like I'm reaching for the pylon. I seen you on the sideline. You need to walk a fine line. You need to read the guidelines instead of reading the timelines. Where everybody like line, nobody flow like mine. And that was the TGIF on the Rodriguez, the Rodriguez show. show. We have Ani Waska coming up with an interview on performance. She was it's it's a summertime thing. You heard last week a snippet of it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's coming up right now. But before we get to that, what's happening this weekend in Orange County? What's it called, Mondo? What's pop? Popping. That's what we call this break. What's popping? Yes, sir. We're going to start with tonight. It's already RSVP sold out, but I mean, if you already got your tickets, I'm just reminding you. <laughs> Pretty Pace and Gucci Ma are going to be performing uh, at Off Film Studios. Um, uh, this, I completely just wrote down the what I can remember of that. So hit up Pretty Papes on Instagram and you'll get the full flyer. It's a great night tonight in Anaheim. That studio is really cool. And the cool thing about that is that they're going to film it. Or, I don't know, some kind of release. So nice. you're going to be a part of whatever they're going to release. That's super dope. Yeah. I like the idea of that. I mean, that's why we did it with uh, One Night in Santa Ana. Mm-hmm. Where I like to highlight the people here and like where they you can make really cool footage of just your performances. Like, yeah. You know what we did last week? It's a summertime thing. For sure. Yeah. So shout out to David and All Films and, and Booler's old studio that they are now working on together. Nice. And uh, that's tonight. And then next Saturday, the 30th of September, the homie Viliami along with a lineup of great performers, including Kid Vista, is going to be performing at FTG for the Summertime 09 Deluxe Edition release party. Hey. Yeah, hosted by YBG, our friend, um, you know, him and Jules for uh, the Let's Get It Productions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's, they're putting that on. So. Fire, man. Shout out to them. Yeah, and then uh, this weekend, tomorrow, what do you got for us, Mondo? Yes, sir. Tomorrow night from 8 p.m. to 2 a.m. at, of course, El Rincón, Mexicano. Mm-hmm. We got the Find the Attic Collective throwing their, you know, house event. Um, we got some homies obviously playing there. Well, we got a homie playing there, but uh, the lineup includes Xavier, Yastuvo, Miggy, Lando Polo, Back to Back Dilo, Nike, and the homie Menito. Nice. So nice. shout out to them, man. Find, shout out to Find the Attic, another collective in the city of Santa Ana, dude. They're, uh, again, like all these like house events are popping up and everyone's doing their thing. And it's always kind of cool to just see the way people, you know, set up their, their event. Cause it's always different. It's, it's mm-hmm. never the same. And even though it could be at the same, you know, spot, but everyone sets it up super different, which yeah. is dope. And of course they're going to have visuals and lighting by Obsidian. So, you know, it's going to be cracking. Uh, make sure to check that out. 8 PM. Like I said, at 12, 2 AM, uh, all night, man. House music. Nice. And not just house music. I mean, they do, I mean, of course, they do like electro bass or some, yeah, different type of thing. So, 
Yeah, and I also saw it's happening right now as we're recording. But Manito announced uh, Midnight Fantasy, the next one. Yep, it's happening October first. October first. That's coming up. Mm-hmm. Also, the lineup dropped as well. Uh, I don't have the names in front of me right now, but just know it's going to be dope. Yeah, and uh, just letting you know that October thirteenth, Friday thirteenth, just clear your calendars for that because something's coming for that. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, stay tuned for details on that very soon. October thirteenth mm-hmm. saves the date. Definitely. That's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> So for comedy, we got Steve Trevino this weekend at the Irvine Improv and Pablo Francisco Yo. Um, at the Brea Improv this weekend. And then uh, what do we got at the Observatory, Mondo? Yes, sir. Tonight at the Observatory in Santana as well, we got the pep. We got Pepper. Band. It's a band. It's a yeah. band. So make sure to check that out. And then tomorrow night, no, we got... Sunday, oh, no, sorry. Sunday. Sunday night, we got Soldier Boy. You! Yes, sir. Soldier Boy. Tell him. Soldier? You know he's a, you know he's a fir- he's the first rapper to rap at Observatory. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> dude! I see all the other rappers how to rap. So. I, I saw a video that his like one of his chains like broke on stage while what? he was performing, and uh, then of course I always go to the comments, and the first comment I see uh, was like someone saying, "Oh, just watch him say it's he's the first rapper to have his uh, chain broken on stage." <laughs> I was like, dude, it's so true. That's funny. But like that was me, me first. <laughs> Shout out Soldier Boy, though. Shout out Soldier Boy. Then, of course, at our favorite Time Nightclub. Shout out Dioro, man. Come on the show. Yeah, shout out Dioro. Hey, shout out to the homies. They went in uh, meet and greet. Shout out to Dre. Oh, shout yeah? out to Laundry. Shout out to Eva. Uh, I believe that's all they went. Shit. Yeah. They all went to go see Dioro. It was like a meet and greet. And uh, they came out on the, like his recap video. Oh, yeah? Pretty sick. Yeah. So shout out to them. And uh, yeah, man. So at Time Nightclub tonight, we have Nitty. Nice. So make sure if you know you want to go turn up, pop some bottles, uh, go to the Time Night Club, and then tomorrow uh, tomorrow night we have Matroda, oh, which shit. is a dope house producer. I would definitely want to go, but I did not get. I'm not gonna be able to make it. Mm-hmm. I have a gig that night, so yeah, make sure to check that out though. I do definitely recommend Matroda. I've seen him at EDC and I forgot where else. And then at La Santa. La Santa. Uh, tonight, man, they're having a Kanye tribute party. So if you don't want to pop some bottles, but still get some drinks and, you know, listen to some dope uh, Kanye music, make sure to make your way over to La Santa. Oh, yeah. Mondo, I might make you go with with me to that after we go to the pretty pace. Hey, <laughs> I, mean, I wouldn't be opposed to it, man. That's pretty sick. I do like some Kanye. I like the old Kanye. You know? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, man, so make sure to check that out. And then tomorrow as well at La Santa, if you do not want some hip-hop, you can definitely check out the Mana and Caifanes tribute, nice. which should be dope, which is another place I would love to go to, but I can't again. You but got a gig. <laughs> yeah, I got a gig. I'm sorry you guys are not invited to the gig, but you guys can go to La Santa and check out some Caifanes and Mana. Nice. At the House of Blues later this month, Rick Ross. Huh. Huh. <laughs> September 28th, get your tickets for that. The Frida Cinema, tomorrow, they're doing all the Lord of the Rings movies starting at noon, back to back to back. Extended versions too, so three hour movies, nine hours at the theater. If you love these movies, this is like heaven for you. So go and enjoy that. That's wild. I I, I try to get into Lord of the Rings, but I fell asleep. I, it was both of them. Yeah. I never finished it. I just, I, or maybe I did finish one of them, and then I went on to the next one. And I fell asleep again, <laughs> and that was it. Yeah, it's tough. Those movies are tough. Some people was, love them. Yeah, I think that was uh, the end of the time when I was like, you know what? I can't stand through movies. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that was when you gave up. Yeah, I was Damn, like, that was like 20 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> totally kidding. <laughs> All right. If you want to stay home, uh, this is what's streaming. I haven't been really watching anything, but I have seen that there's oh. new stuff coming out. This show, Ref- Wrestlers on yeah. Netflix. Uh, wrestlers follows many men and women in their employed on their way working through the minor leagues of professional wrestling and into major promotions. However, the personal drama of their lives may hold them back from ever achieving their dreams. It's crazy. Yeah? You seen yeah. it? Uh, I didn't see it. I think I, I saw the the trailer. Um, mm-hmm. Or like, you, you know how it, it comes out like on the, you know, you yeah. like a quick little trailer. So I seen that and I was like, oh, this is interesting. Because um, I have seen, uh, it's like start, like when the Chris Bang Wall and stuff. Do you know who oh, that? Yeah, like the real life. The real life. Dark side of wrestling. The dark side of wrestling and stuff like that. And it was really interesting because yeah. I was like, bro, like. I mean, at one point, like, I was so into wrestling, like, my childhood, you know, I was, like, a big part of it, and then it's just, like, uh, it's just crazy, man, like, you you know, these people put on, like, a stunt, pretty much, for people, they're entertaining, you know, the crowds and the, the world, pretty much, and 
obviously they're human too so they probably yeah. go through stuff or they go through so much just to make it to that point yeah it's crazy check it out it's on netflix uh, it's called the wrestlers and yeah i'm right there with you man i used to watch all the wrestling and now i look back because you can watch that now on peacock mm-hmm. old old fights and yeah stuff. it's really good it's like crazy undertaker and shit yeah all right that was what's streaming now it's time for the top tracks and their instagram at so yes sir First, before we get into it, shout out to a Dewey who does a videography for the interviews and the performances on the show. Mm-hmm. And then shout out to Carla, who's here with us every week doing the video switching. So when it cuts to me and Mondo, that's that's who's doing that. Yeah. Um, and you can follow me at I am Caesar Rod. That's my personal one. Follow the Rodriguez Show at the Rodriguez Show. That's on Patreon. That's on YouTube. Everywhere. It's at the Rodriguez Show. And uh, support us there. And yeah, it's a big deal, man. You can watch the whole show. Patreon, you get the whole show as soon as Mondo's done editing it. Mm-hmm. Usually, like last week, I just put it up on Wednesday, Thursday. So that way you can watch it on your time. And then YouTube, if you want to, or listen to it on your time. And then YouTube is when you can watch it whenever you want. It's up yeah. there every Friday after the show airs. You can watch it, rewatch it, share it. Mondo's Mix every week. Yes, sir. Um, if you go to our Instagram, I made it easier now. Like one link, you'll go either to the YouTube channel, the current episode, or just playlists of Mondo's Mixes. Fire. So that'll the link tree goes straight to all those places if you would like to check that stuff out. Dope. Um, and yeah, if you want me to produce a podcast for you at Rodriguez Podcasts. My song of the week is gonna be Orange Juice Jones by Danny Brown and JPEG Mafia. Last week we didn't talk about how I bought a ticket to see them last minute. Oh yeah. Scaring the host tour. I drove out to the Palladium the day of the concert. I bought a ticket there because it went cheap mm-hmm. and it was a really great show. They had a live band, and I looked it up after it was the only time that they had a live band the whole tour. Oh, damn. So they had a live band doing their songs from the album, and then when they did their solo tracks, there was no live band. But it doesn't make sense because you wouldn't have Danny Brown tracks. Some of them, you can't do drums on those. (laughs) But yeah, it was a really cool experience. I liked how it sounded because it sounded more like like corn, like new metal kind of sound. Mm -hmm. But then I really like the album itself like yeah. listening to it so now that i have those songs still in my head about it like it's just i haven't stopped listening to that album that's a great no it is a great album you see i remember you shared it and then i was like oh i forgot and then i played it and i was like this is good the yeah. samples they use man it's just the production in general and just just the way they structured it too it's just like it goes well together it's yeah. a great duo that's a great duo right there some really expensive samples i don't even know how they did it because i don't know how they could clear this michael jackson sample on this song it's like a um, deep cut michael jackson song and it's like if you if Michael Jackson heard what you were rapping about in this song, he'd be like, "No, fuck no." <laughs> he'd be like, "No, no, don't do that. <laughs> don't do this." <laughs> but somehow they got this to happen, and it hasn't gotten taken down. So this is Orange Juice Jones, Danny Brown, JPEG Mafia. Enjoy. You think you can make sure times before? She took my side. that was orange juice jones caesar's top track of the week Mm-hmm. And again, that is true, man. I don't know how they cleared that sample, but <laughs> it's dope, man. So shout out to them; they pulled it off. Uh, yeah, man, check it out if you guys haven't checked out album. Uh, my top track of the week is going to be "The Caliphate." Nice. I hope I said it right because I looked it up earlier, and I think that's how you say it. Don't come at me. He's been practicing this. Before yeah, the show. we talked about it a little earlier, but yeah, um, Earl Sweatshirt and. Uh, I was going to say Vince Staples. It is featuring Vince Staples, but uh, The Alchemist nice. dropped their uh, Void Dire. I hope I said that right as well. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, I think it's going to be a dope tra- project. Again, they haven't really released the whole thing, but it's coming out October 6th. And uh, of course, you know, you know when they have Vince Staples. I don't know, like Earl Sweatshirt and Vince Staples. Uh, damn. <laughs> uh, this, the track that I've really, really enjoyed them with, uh, I mean, together is on uh, Faces, which is it's Mac Miller's project, and I forgot the name of the song. But they were right both now, on that song. Together. When they're both on that song, that's one of my favorite songs from that that project. But yeah, man, like hearing them together, it's always great. So, and of course, on an Alchemist beat, shit, can't get any better than that. Nice. So this is the Caliphate. 
Uh, but before we play that, you guys can always follow me at MVNDOH on Instagram, Mondo Beats on Twitter. Hit that email, mondo at rodriguezshow.com. And of course, keep following the show. Like Caesar says, follow the Patreon. Check out my mixes. I appreciate all the, you know, the views and everything, all the sharing. Keep sharing it, man. Put put it on your playlist, like I always say, your gym playlist. I have a little bit of everything for everybody. Sometimes it might be a little slow. Sometimes more upbeat. Sometimes more trappy. I take it all over the place, really. So I hope you guys enjoy listening to that. And uh, yeah, man, let's get to this track, The Caliphate featuring Vince Staples. Yeah, we're going to do that. And then we're going to go into 20 minutes with Mondo. And then we got Aniwaska coming up. So keep listening on The Rodriguez Show. The Rodriguez Let's Show. Get it. You gave me no release, a hope of peace. We post them now. Over East, corroded sheet metal, my toe just found. He let it go, Brody left the heat on the coldest ground. The wrap around the wound and wound. I pour the bruised blood into the sound. Stole the crown, grew out a poster child. Served a few once I stirred a stew on the stove around. If you hit the county, you better hold it down. Grab the bounty, left him on down, he screaming on the ground. Cup running over, son of Ramona, her poster child. The coast is clear, they wanna act La Costa Nostra now. When we was there, they toned it down, how I'm supposed to smile. When she's the tractor rats.